Okay, everybody, I wanted to do this little update. I just got out of the VA. <laughs> the VA has been holding me up in the sense that I had to make my appointment. First time I've been checked. I normally don't do regular checks at all, even when I had insurance. So I went in the other day for my blood work, and I want to give you guys an update. The doctor... I've been waiting for a cigarette. You know, the doctor asks me, because I'm in, I'm getting in the system. Nice man from a Filipino man. Oh, it was funny. Uh, there were things I wrote down. I said, I'm writing these things down. You know, he told me, he, he said, for 53, he said, I look like I was dirty. That's what he, tell, he said to me. He said, do you dye your hair? I said, no, I don't dye my hair. He was surprised what good shape I was in. Now, look, I didn't get checked for things that you could ask for tests to get checked for, okay? I purposefully did not do that. And they offered, they gave me the colonoscopy kit. I, you'd send it in. I said, well, I don't even need it. He said, you don't have to send it in. I turned down all the vaccines, flu vaccine, this and this and this and this. And then he did a little physical on me, and he said, you're very thin, he says, with a lot of, you know, muscle, good muscle, what do you do? You're 53. I said, well, I don't do anything. You know, he might, which I don't, I have not worked out in many years. I'm just walking by the VA. That's where I walked the other day. It, it was like he kept saying he was surprised. <laughs> now, I did not get checked for things that you would have to get checked for separately, okay? I didn't get checked for anything like that, but just the blood work. And when he was done, he didn't know the blood work was finished, but it was because I had the paper. The nurse gave me all the paper for the blood work. So when he was done checking me, he kept saying, you know, you're in such good shape. You look so good. All of my patients with the big bellies and you're 53. <laughs> I said, well, Doc, you know, I'm just here to avoid the Obamacare fine. He even put that in the notes. It took an hour because I was just getting into the system. He said, well, I'll put the Obamacare. You avoid an Obamacare fine. He was a funny man, a Filipino man, Doc. The girl, the nurse, is Italian, so she saw me first. He's trying to, he asked me if I'm married because he said, it's funny, I said, oh, you're trying to, you're trying to hook up your nurse with, because I said in front of them both, because it was funny, like, because he says, oh, he's a good-looking Italian man, but he's married. <coughs> it was funny. <coughs> I had to be honest. I lied a little bit about the smoking, but I did say, well, two, it's a little more than two packs a day, but when he asked about that, He's, oh, no, 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 you can't be smoking like that. Do you want the nicotine patch? I'm sorry, Doc, I didn't want to lie, you know. So, and he's asking my eating things, you know, how do you, I said, well, I only eat once a day. Oh, that is no good, you can't, I, I said, well, I didn't want to lie to you, Doc, but I only eat once a day. It was funny. But then he, when I was turning down, I don't want to do any tasks, I don't want to do anything else. He did say, I'm going to, well, you come back in in six months to do another blood test. I'm not going to come for that one because the girls, I got the info, they said, you just got to come once a year just to get checked once a year <laughs> to stay active. So this is my last check. I got one year before I have to come back and I'm not going to come back. Do you know when he was, I'll be honest, he was surprised that I looked you know, he was like, how do you stay healthy or thin? He said, but I must tell you, your eating habits are no good. But then he didn't know the blood work came in. I said, no, I have it. It came in. He thought I took the blood test today. So then I showed him because I was a little nervous at first because that would be something that maybe they'd find something. And then I showed it. I had the copy. He said, oh, you're perfect. Everything is perfect. Maybe a little high in cholesterol. And then he said, you know, he said they did the studies on the rats and the ones that they starved on minimal, this is study, I've seen this before actually, minimum calorie eat once a day. 
he said, you know, those rats, they were all healthier because they were starving those rats. And so he kind of made him think about, you know, wanting me. He said, it's no good to eat once a day. But then when I turned down, you know, tetanus, you want that, even though I got the rusty nail the other day. I said, no, I don't want any of this. And then he said, I don't blame you. And even when I said, I don't need the patches for the quit smoking, I know I smoke. <coughs> I have a little cough right now, but I just want to let you know that he was surprised. And he kept saying how healthy I looked. And I, I told him pretty much the only thing, because I said I was an uh, alcoholic for many years, but it's almost three years since I drank, he said, because of that reason, we can't give you like a perfect thing. <coughs> I know I have something, okay? But that would not have come up on this. But that something is different. But th that is okay, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's okay. I do take uh, my own stuff. He asked if I took any vitamins and all. I said, yes, I take them. It took a long time. But I wanted to give you that update. This was holding me back a little bit because I, I wanted to be able to... Somebody at the coffee shop asked me this morning, when are you going to go to New York? I said, you know what's been holding me back? I had to stay to make a New Jersey trip, New York trip. I said, I had to stay <laughs> because... I had to make these two appointments, which they're done. I don't have to come back until one more year just to keep it active. I thought it was interesting because <laughs> I don't eat once a day for health reasons. or I, That's a habit that I feel I function. I feel like I function better like that. I feel like <laughs> it's like I fast every day. That's what I feel. <laughs> and even if I eat a little, I, and I don't. But if, even if somebody offers me something and it's not my normal eating time, I feel like I broke that, like I broke the fast. Now, I know it, all of this is not a normal way to do things, but I'm comfortable with the way I'm doing this. So, all in all, that's it. I'm grateful for it. It was very good, and uh, I'm just grateful that I got the VA. They did give me that kit. Oh, there were a few other funny things I can't remember. But I will tell you that he was very surprised just uh, looking at me. He he said I looked like I was 30 years old. And he said, you must dye your hair. But then I said, no. He said, oh, but I could see a little white in your mustache. He was like kidding a little. He said, if you just colored the mustache, you'd be like you're 30. I th two things. I do think that the, the starving yourself in that way, which he was very, the two things he was very upset when I said the smoking, and then when I said once a day he, eating, he was like, no, you cannot do that. I think there has been studies done, and I don't do it for this reason, but there are people that kind of do the very limited intake of calories. I weighed 159. That's a little more than when I first year of quit drinking. But I lost about 40 pounds in a few months in the first year when I quit drinking. Because they asked about any weight loss. I said, well, it was only in the first year when I quit drinking. All in all, from what they checked on the blood, check and all, all in all, all of that was good. And he was surprised. And I'll tell you, I would attribute, though I don't exercise, I don't work out, it's been many years, 30 years, I have not worked out in, since high school actually like lifting weights or any of that <clears throat> but I walk a lot and I'm active a lot and I do I did mention I don't sleep that well <clears throat> I wrote that down <clears throat> but I didn't really want to get any obviously he saw my cough but check all in all it was good most of all I would have not wanted to have something that all of a sudden I was going to have to start treatment for anything because I want to be able now, I feel like that's it. I've accomplished that. I'm happy about that. And I did not want to be in a system where, like Pops, some of my friends, where you be get you get in that rat race. I, I'm ready to like go, you know, <coughs> to do things. <coughs> and so, 
being Yola followed some of that, I wanted you to see that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. This is just a short update. Uh, this ain't the teaching post. But there's a few other things I can't remember. But all in all, it was funny how the, he's such a nice uh, uh, Filipino doctor. But it was so funny how, like, he's, oh, you look so good. And I was like, oh, and I you know, then do you smoke? Oh, oh, he was so upset. It's a little more than two packs a day. Maybe about two packs a day now. Maybe that's about right. So, but then he, he was surprised. And he thought I looked very good for my age. said, any of those other people in there that are 53, that, you know, they're going bald. They're... I attribute all of that because... I'm out helping. I'm serving. I'm not self-focused in the sense of self-survival, but you give yourself away. And I would attribute it to that. And if it wasn't for my smoking and all these other things, I'd be in much better shape. But he said I was like in the best shape of any of the people he sees at the age of 53. He says, this is beautiful. He looked at all the lab work. Because people do... When you focus on that, in and out, I've not been to regular doctors in years. Never used it. She asked me, do you want the flu shot? I said, I never once got the flu shot at all of my years in fire department, and it was free. The city would give you a free flu shot for all the workers. I never once took it. <laughs> Just never took it. <laughs> so all in all, that's your update. And I'm going to go ahead and maybe I'll see who I'm going to see right now. Bob's one of them. Okay? That's it.